All right, now let's get started. And Shift A to adding a mesh. And go down here to round cube. Okay, so and then we're gonna change this uh, preset from the uh, round cube right down here to a quad sphere. So if you don't have any of this at all, so you'll be able to enable that. I'm gonna show you real quick before I'm doing so. I'm just going to change the uh, subdivisions a little bit low to do four, and then we can start with this quad sphere. Okay. So if you don't have this, uh, you can just go to the edit and the preferences, and you're gonna search. Uh, extra objects okay so make sure you enable that uh, add mesh so basically you can have the that options so I was showing earlier uh, okay so we have this quad spheres and basically this is a UV sphere but it's everything in quad if I'm going to adding two level of subsurface uh, control 2 now you can see this is a beautiful uh, UV sphere uh, this is something we want to start working with okay and but right now we're not needed this kind of uh, subdivision so we're just going to temporarily disable that and before you come down here you will see this the quad sphere is actually having a six sides so this is more like a cube and uh, but it has like six different sides and they come to as a uh, UV sphere. If you are not really wanting to use it at all, you still can create a similar shape like that through a uh, actually through a cube. Shift A to adding a cube. So I can just temporarily disable that. And then I can do two level of subdivision, control two. And you can see that this looks very similar to the to the round cube that we actually earlier using. However, this is actually a cube. What you can do if you really want to be using this, you can just apply this subdivision surface and go to the edit mode. And the, since you select everything else, and you can just using F3 to search to sphere. Uh, okay. And the war you can use the shift alt S to using a shortcut. So select that and you can see that my mouse cursor start uh, actually changing shapes. I can actually just drag to all the way to the to the right, continue dragging, you can see the top part is actually changing the shape to a round one. Factor, you can change that. You see, that's what happened. Then, so once you did that, click. Now this is a perfect quad sphere. So just like the one we earlier were using a add-on to creating that. So either way, you can do so. So this time, I'm just going to continue use this and go to the edit mode. And next thing we're going to do here is because we have a like six same sizes if you look at it around this is the one typical size that uh, we are using uh, to consistent do six sizes so what we need to do now we only need to do one side and then to just simply duplicate it and the six times and then kind of seal them together to become a uh, UV sphere again so this is what we're going to do so we're going to go to the top view and we're going to go down here top view uh, looks like this and this is going to be our top side we want to continue to work with and then another trick that you can do just select this one vertice hit control plus key on the number pad you can just start adding selections so this is all everything we want and hit control i key to invert it and hit x key to delete vertice so this is the like a one six of the crosshair that we want to use okay so and also it naturally already have the curve. Uh, so this is everything's working. You see, this is what we want to do. Next, we're going to actually adding a circle on the top of it and then to adding the geometry for this particular mesh. So what we need to do here, go to edit mode, tap it out, shift A to adding a circle. And this time 32 is way too much because we're using relatively low geometry. So this time 32 is too high. Let's do 12. Probably yes, yeah, twelve. I think it should be fine to getting close to the the existing mesh that you want to use. Hit S to shrink it down, and then we're gonna hit G to drag it up, and to see uh, how big we're gonna, gonna go. So hit S to getting around here, and then go to the edit mode. So you'll see we have some vertices going on here, and then let's go to the uh, existing mesh. We're gonna. Uh, start working with the uh, knife project so operation so if we go to the animal you will see uh, the current curve 
or a circle is actually kind of getting crossed to this shape. So once we apply the knife project, it's actually going to merge these two and also cutting through. This is more like a cut tool that a cutter that we want to cutting through the mesh. So now let me show you how to do the knife project. So select the, the mesh part that we want to be cut it and then go to the edit mode hitting tab key and then holding shift and uh, click the cutter. Okay, now you see the cutter has been highlighted in uh, like a red orange. And then we're gonna go here, go to the mesh and come here, set knife project. And making sure it's projecting through your view, uh, viewport. So that you're looking from this angle. So this is gonna project based on your viewport. So this is how you're going to work like. So mesh, knife project, then it's done. So once you see that it's actually project through it this way, it's actually cutting the mesh uh, through that angle. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the edit mode, tap it out and to hide this cutter. So basically we can start working with this uh, mesh. Now, because we are not uh, beautifully fix our topology yet, we have some ungongs, so we needed to, uh, to do our work in order to make things, everything's working. So let's go to the vertices selection mode. Let's take a look at it, stuff we, we, can, we can actually uh, getting things correct. Uh, as you can see here, this is the one that is being created after the project. So easy way to maintain the shape of this circle, which it is the one that we want to maintain. So we can just select the one that is just double G to slide to the uh, point on the circle. So in order to maintain that shape. So I believe this is the, I believe, uh, let me see. Let's see the circle, which one? is actually being the project one. So this one is good. Uh, I think probably this is the one that is on the circle. So we wanna maintain that one. So just double G to slide over here, come to the top view. And certainly this is the, this is the one that is being created. So I'm going to select this one, double G to slide over here. Okay, so same thing here. So I'm going to select this double G come back. And I think this is all good. And because we only need to do one side of it, so I can go to the X remote Alt Z to select that uh, hit the delete. And then I'm going to adding a mirror modifier. And then drag the thing up and do the clipping. Then I'm going to hit a key to select everything Hit M key to dissolve or to merge uh, the duplicated vertices. So you said remove four vertices. So we're all good with that. And then I'm going to uh, just think about it. This is an ungong. Un so what we can do here, we're probably just going to uh, do a cut to getting through over here to in order to have that surface and K key. And also because that is triangle. So this is our, like a perfect quads now. So everything is in quads. So it actually works pretty well. It should be. So I'm going to apply this mirror modifier, go to the object mode, apply that. And then this is the kind of still maintaining the wrong shape and everything, but we already having the uh, circle cut it on the top. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make this uh, top part, uh, which is all these vertices to be snapping onto this cut. So in order to everything to be aligned and flatten out. Uh, if I'm selecting everything here and I'm going to hit S Z zero, but you realize that we are flattening this, all these vertices, but using an even number to actually bump up this vertice up and drag the thing down. So we don't want to do that. So we certainly want to just only having all these top part to snapping align with all these vertices. So how do you do that? So that's the our best of friends uh, snapping tool. So we're going to turn on the snap tool. And we're going to come here to the edge. So making sure we select that. So we can just select all that hit S and Z zero. And that's being selected Hit enter and hit G and Z to just come down here. Okay, 
So although it's not really working now by now, but if you're holding Shift key while you are enable the snapping tool, you can see that it's actually once it's close to the edges, it's gonna snap to this edge to surface. Uh, Everything is being snapped here, so which is good. So we can disable the snapping, and now we'll come back to the top view, go to the edit mode. So this is from top view. It doesn't look change a whole lot. However, from the side view, it's already beautifully you know snapping to the one side. And if you're really uh, being precise, and this is a tiny bit, so we can just just hit S key, Z and zero to kind of make everything perfect. I, I know it might move up a tiny bit, but I think for the purpose of what we're trying to do, it works beautifully. It's already uh, pretty nice. Okay, now, so what we need to do here, we're going to do six of them and to actually creating the shape back. Okay, so the first thing we can do a couple of different ways because only six size, I can just keep duplicating this thing and hit D and hit R key to kind of rotate it and then doing one by one. That can, you can tell, definitely do that or you can use an array modifier to do that as well. So let me show you how to do that with array modifier. Uh, Shift A, I'm going to adding a empty. Okay, just empty. And then I'm going to select this object and do, uh, I know the origin is in the 3D cursor, which is uh, overlap with the existing empty mesh we just added. And then what we need to do here, sometimes you just need to right click, making sure you set the origin to 3D cursor, which is exactly where this empty was located. Sometimes you do need to do, do but for this case, it's already there, but I just wanna show you the process. Okay, once you have these two, you're going to adding a mirror array modifier, adding that. So basically we're gonna drag the thing up and we're gonna have four of these because we wanna do like four sides on this side. Uh, we are going to change the relative offset and to make it an object offset and then using the uh, sample tool to kind of select that empty. Then next, we're going to check the merge and check the first and last and then select empty and hit R key to rotate it. While you're holding control key, just kind of rotate that. Then you will see the rotation degrees on the 90 degrees on the left hand corner, then click, okay. Then, which means we're already adding like all that. So now I'm just sim simply select that to do the shade flat to make everything looks much simpler, easier to, to be seen. So this is something that we already have it, okay? So then we can do here is to shift D to duplicate it, hit M key to adding a backup collection, always having backup and then disable that. Then basically what we can do next is to shift D to duplicate it one more time. And then, and uh, I'm just going to disable all these uh, subdivision surface because this one I'm going to uh, go to the site view and hit R key to rotate it in this one. And now uh, I can actually uh, do a mirror modifier to having that on the on the Z axis to having that both together, or I can just simply duplicate it another one to put it on. However, right now you can see that these two meshes are supposed to be, it's being perfect to put together. However, there are considered two mesh together, okay? So what we need to do next is we're going to apply this mirror modifier. And then for this guy, I'm going to temporarily delete the subsurface modifier, and I'm just going to apply this array modifier. Now all these has been, you know, applied. So basically means the vertices has been created. So what I need to do is I'm just going to simply select everything both, hit Control J to join it, become one single mesh. Now, if I select that, you will know this is one single mesh. And for this one, where well, I'm just going to disable that and hiding them. So it doesn't really matter. So this is the one that uh, eventually I'm going to use Okay, and then next we're going to definitely to making sure there are replicated vertices here. You can see it's now not connected. So I'm going to hit A key to select all the vertices and hit the M key to merge by distance. So I'm gonna remove, see, 32 vertices. Now this one should be a pretty good, decent uh, mesh together, all right? And then what I can do here is I'm going to go to the, 
this bar window is going to check the face orientation to see if there anything is being open or being flipped. So nothing. So everything is good. And definitely you can adding this thing for on the quick menu. Right click, adding on the quick favorite. Uh, if you do that, do so. If you hit the Q key, then you can just simply quickly access to that menu. So one more tip for you. Now this has been good. Uh, next, we're going to adding a subsurface modifier, Control Two to having that. That looks good. However, uh, it looks smooth, but we are losing the flat surface, the edge. So what we need to do is to adding a bevel. So go to the tab edit mode and then edge selection select sharp edges and now we are these are the edges that we want adding some sharpness so it beautifully being detect because we have a, a certain degrees number is being set it so control b to do bevel and left click and then let's change to let's do i think 1.02 should be good and then i'm going to do two segment and uh, the sharp change to arc in this case it doesn't really matter but uh uh, usually this is my default setting, so I just put it this way. Okay, cool. So now if I'm going to back to the object mode and turn on the subdivision modifier, looks much better. And also that's the look that we're looking for. Right click, shade smooth even better, right? So we have a kind of a cube look and also a round circle flat surface. This is very nice, right? If you really want having sharp edges, you can actually make the bevel looks a little smaller. So this is how you do it. And if I'm going to come back, Control B to do that, you can just do 0 0.001. So it's, it's going to make everything more sharper, okay? So if I turn on this, so this is, is actually even uh, better. And uh, if you enjoyed this video and also enjoyed this small modeling practice with uh, using the different modifiers and uh, please making sure you hit likes and share and subscribe to my channel, of course. And uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.